Good morning, everybody. Hey, it's April 1st, 2017. I have 8 a.m. my time, and uh, I do have a hangout later on today, uh, 2 o'clock, with uh, a computer scientist, Landon Knoll, but uh, I was up, and I wanted to have a hangout this morning dealing with some of these uh, new policy changes that YouTube is having. And I don't know if you guys actually have looked much into this, but somebody has been, or actually a few people have been sending me stuff as to why my um, advertiser revenue pretty much went 80 to 90% um, it's gone. It literally is gone. And this is actually across the board, and we were trying to figure out why. Well, we know why now. Um, you two have kind of just basically said that certain channels are not advertiser-friendly, that uh, they will go through, demonetize all the videos or, or a bunch of videos, anything that has a metadata tag that's even considered to be controversial. This includes words like atheism, theism, Christianity, uh, any mention of sex, gender, politics, race, uh, any of these things are considered to be um, not advertised, as advertisement friendly. Um, so what I need to do is I need to figure out, you know, what I need to take my direction on my channel because obviously we can't, you can't really discuss flat Earth create or flat Earth anymore because that's insulting to the flat Earthers. We can't talk about young Earth creationism because that's insulting to the young Earth creationists because that's you know denigrating their personal beliefs and. We have to have like a safe space now. We have to be able to talk about things that are non-controversial, that's not political, not um, in any way considered to be topical or controversial. And so, um, you know, I kind of want to get a group of pe bunch of people together and say, okay, what what, what actually can we do about this? And I want to show you guys the new rules here, which which I will in a second. Um, again, if you guys have not seen this, this is actual YouTube's uh, new rules. So. Oh, let me screen. I got to go out of auto, uh, audio only. So let me screen share. Present. Okay. Can you guys see this? I can see it. All right. By the way, um, uh, let me know um, if I, my mic is having problems or anything like that in the outside chat. I didn't ask like I normally do. So if you're in the outside chat, I'll check it in a second. Um, let me know if my mic is. Actually, I'll check it right now. I got to see the tab here. Uh, Okay, Nobody's, uh, there's nobody saying, oh, Steve, you're, you're bad. Okay, so these are the new advertiser-friendly guidelines, right? Um, and I don't know how new they are, but they're definitely being implemented. And they are vague, to say the least, when it came to the, the implementation of them. Um, sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. Okay, I get the partial nudity. Um, you know, those kind of do have to be 18 and up. But, I mean, Sexual humor, that's pretty much every video that's on the internet if not dealing with just cats, right? I mean, come on. This is this is, this is a, a medium where people have satire. This is how they, they the bigger channels do make a lot of money. Again, uh, some of these channels make tens of thousands of dollars a month um, by doing this. It's, it's literally a, a big business. Uh, violence, inappropriate language, including harassment, which is, again... Anything dealing with younger creationism can be considered harassment, profanity. I mean, I don't. You can't even say like the word hell because it's considered profane. Vulgar language, promotion of drugs, even though obviously you know marijuana has been legalized in most of the states. Um, regulated substances and controversial or subs uh, controversial or sensitive substance and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown, which is kind of uh, you know, weird. I mean, you can't even talk about political conflicts and war and, and things that are going on in the world. I mean, how is that something that's demonetizable? Uh, oh, let me get some people in here. Now that I see you guys come in. There you go. Um, I mean, I just had a loss for this. This makes no sense to me. And, and yet what's funny is YouTube still has the advertisers. They still are able to advertise on your video. They're just not giving you any of the revenue. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. and, and and Drunken Peasants, which is, again, I don't watch them that often. I'm not a huge fan, although they do have some good programs, and God knows they're talented. I do love Paul Zigo. God, Paul Zigo is just amazing. But uh, you're right. They ran a video on this the other day, and they're absolutely right, that these content providers who spend a lot of hours making these types of podcasts, like Drunken Peasants, I'm sure it takes several, several, several hours to produce. I mean, it is no different than any other show. It is a job for these people, a, a money-making job. I mean, when you're making t tens of thousands of dollars a month, that's a lot of money. 
you know, a lot of freaking money. That's a, over, you know, well over a hundred thousand a year that these guys make, not individually, but combined. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if they don't have an incentive to do it, then I, I they won't have the time to do these kind of uh, full time things because you know they'd have to go out and, and find some other occupation, and that sucks because even though I'm like I said I'm not a huge fan of Drunken Peasants, I, I like some of their episodes. They don't have the time to to do this and you know have a full time job because this is their full time job. It really is, and, and Paul Ego made a a brilliant case for that. But if if they're not getting reimbursed because of the advertising revenue. Then what's the point? Now, if, luckily, I'm not in that situation. But um, you know, my my things come from Patreon and just people donating. But you know, the revenue from the advertisement did help. But I don't want the things flagged and and I have to go in every time and oh, let me re have them review this video, which I had to do. I had to do four videos to have them review because they come up with this little yellow dollar symbol that means oh, you try to monetize this, but you know what, you can't because you mentioned Sharia law. Yes, I mentioned Sharia law in the title. And it was not revenueable, if that's, if that's the word. I'm going to use that word just in case. Revenueable, if it's not a word, I don't care if you're grammar Nazi. Yeah, I, oh, I can't say fuck off now. Yeah. So, yeah. We, we got you know, It's going to be a little bit <laughs> different uh, style in my hangouts because, you know, nobody's allowed to curse. Nobody's allowed to insult anybody. Nobody's allowed to, to actually go after anybody if they are wrong because that would be considered harassment. Um, dumb fuck of the year is out the window. So, hmm. anyways, what do you guys think about this? And none of you guys here monetize your channel, so what's that? It's so, not out, dumb. Fuck of the year is not out of the out the window yet. It just means Red can't make revenue on it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess Red Red's in the same position. He's going <laughs> to do this anyways, but I'll I'll explain something. Uh, well, that depends. It still might be flagged. I mean, yeah, even though there may be uh, no revenue, you know. a few years ago, remember that they had that uh, the tsunami where where did it hit? Uh, oh, and, and Thailand, PP Island. Off the coast yeah, of yeah, yeah. Okay, people put up videos of the wave coming in. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Now, some people put the videos up just like to show the devastation. Right. But there were people who put it up and monetized it. So now you're making money off of a natural disaster. Yeah, I, I get that. I, that I, I understand want to that. Stop because those videos... As soon as it happened, they take they take the person who made a video, who never monetized it, downloaded it, uploaded their channel, and monetized yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, I have no problem with that. And that just, that I do it's understand. Just, it's all corp something. Right, but that's we're not the very, reason they're doing this. Yeah, we're a very small corner, and yet it is going to affect what you do or what some people watching on the outside do. But there's a vast, huge side of YouTube that we don't see. And as an advertiser... Do you want your product advertised on a video where a bunch of idiots sit around and talk about white supremacy? Well, again, but that's 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 the the, the crux of it. But right. that but the problem is is that there's no arbitrary way they can. Oh, it's all arbitrary. There's no honest way they can go in and say, okay, these people are advocating for this. These people are not advocating yeah. for this, right? So there's a ubiquitous like across the board. Right. So you can't discuss these things, and that's so what bullshit. They, what now they they they're allowed be, to do that. What they should be allowing then is okay. In your case, like you do a, a podcast type show or hangout show, it might not be monetizable, but you should be allowed to say, wait a minute, we're a discussion show or a panel well, no, show. Cause then so you, therefore, you, it, it just might get work. reviewed and say, okay. You couldn't do it. You might you have do to it. have some of those topics. No, because because again, they all people would do is place themselves under a topical show and then again av you know ad uh go out there and, and support you know like things like white supremacy or whatever whatever the the problems they're having on youtube they're, they're thinking is requiring a safe space and mostly it's not white supremacy actually it's, it's more anything it's it's this the uh, anti-social justice warrior stuff that is really the biggest push behind this the social justice warriors have wanted to shut down any kind of criticism and they have gone after and boycotted youtube and and, and and boycotted actually advertisers to boycott. This is how this has all been been stemmed from. And this is a problem I said from the beginning that you know social justice warriors is a problem. You guys all oh Steve's a little bit conspiratorial. No, this well, is a guess, fact. Guess who else got burned by this? Who? The LGBT queer and trans. Community. Oh yes, they did. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, they, they got, did. They 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 got burned hard. Idiots, and they boom. Because yes. 
their stuff got shut down and taken away. There has to be like 18 plus now, and they can't yep. make money on it. Exactly. Um, then, and you know, what's funny is there's a lot of, uh, of people in the um, G plus sphere and YouTube sphere that were uh, LBGBT that were making videos, and they were, they were also, you know, they're promoting the, the the realities of things, and, and they were good yeah. good uh, channels. They have to be 18 plus now, which means yeah. they can't be monetized. So yeah, it affects everybody, and I and YouTube's just saying, well, yeah, at least we're being fair on it. Well, yeah, wait, but you're being fair so, and stupid. So wait, what about so I mean so LGBT, queer, transgender uh, videos have to be eighteen plus now? Yes. Yes. Why? Where is the? Because well, it doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be eighteen plus, but it, pretty much if it's not, it's going to get flagged or it's going to get demonetized. Why? Because, because they're talking about sensitive rules. issues. Because yeah. Oh my god! That's a sensitive issue. You might be harassing issue. somebody. Even if the Read person the was gay. Steve, put the list it back doesn't up matter. And we'll go through it. Yeah. Oh Do you want goodness. to see the list again? I mean, this is this is I legit. Saw, I saw, I saw the right. list, and I'm still wanting to just go over to YouTube headquarters and slap them for that. Controversial or sensitive su happened. subjects. There you go. You see, they're, oh. they're sexually they're, suggestive. There were people out there who made channels, who addressed the topics to a younger audience, like you know to. To put the information out there, help them and help them understand themselves. Okay. The problem was the new rules say, sorry, that information now falls into this category. It's got to be 18 plus now. If you don't have an 18 plus account, you can't get access to it. And, and just FYI, if you guys don't know this, there is porn on YouTube. There's two types of porn. There's one that's that people just upload and they get, you know, down, you know, they get shut down pretty quick. But in the yeah. meantime, it's still there. And there's two, there's authorized porn. Literally authorized porn. It is it is educational. Mm. There is some videos in there that are more graphic than anything you've ever seen before. Yeah. I'm sh I'm telling you, it, it is absolutely a triple X rated. Shows everything in detail, but it's listed under education. Mm. And I'm not going to tell you where to find it on here, YouTube, just in case you know. You can find a lot of fetish stuff too. Yeah, so I mean, you know, they're kind of arbitrary on what on what they're allowing, what they don't allow. I mean, and, and think about this though: if you wanted to like discuss things like breast car cancer awareness, right? You're allowed to do that, and you can actually show the breast, and if it's if considered to be a medical thing. And if that got demonetized or if that got banned, could you imagine the outrage? As, as they well, there should be, right? Yeah, but something like that may not have ever been monetized to begin with. Depends. Because they would have put it up as information, and yes, you can find videos of a breast uh, can't like a self exam yeah. self mm -hmm. how to do a self exam. Yeah, okay. and, and I'm fine with all that stuff too. Right? Matter of fact, I think YouTube could be a lot more loose. But of course, what happened was, as you guys may know, AT and T and Verizon and many other big companies pulled out of their revenue because of pressure. It wasn't because I don't think it was because their average. I mean, their advertisements were on videos that were questionable. Because, I mean, this has been YouTube for how many years? They've been around a long time. Hasn't been a problem. Only when this, this SJW crap has been coming around, it's been a problem. And, oh, I can't yeah. say crap anymore. I don't think either. Um, but, I'm still going to say, I'm still going to, yeah, I'm not monetized. But even then, even if this is just a flag thing, I'm still going to speak my mind on things. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to Well, be nobody listens those. to your channel anyways, though. That's not going to be a big deal. Um, okay, okay, okay. So I'm, but I'm, for out of your respect, I'm going to try to watch my tongue here. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Um, no, and, and 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 again, it's like you know those people that don't have monetization, then obviously not going to be affected because they don't have any revenue from the advertisements, anyways. But uh, many channels do monetize. I mean, we, we, when I was listening to the DP, I mean, they're talking about Jack and Glenn was having a problem, Sargon was cod. Um, all these guys, uh, they're just like, wow, this this is a huge chunk of my revenue. Because uh, they do make money off these videos. And they spend a lot of time, much more time than I do. Even though I can I take four or five hours to make a video or sometimes, you know, days. Uh, mine are nowhere near the quality of these guys, right? I mean, they, they put a, they're a lot of effort into it because they know how to do it. Um, so they should get a lot more. So when they have 80 or 90% of their revenue stream just cut, it, it affects them, you know? Because I'm sure a lot of them do it altruistically, and they like to do it because, you know, they enjoy putting out videos, and they enjoy commentary, and they enjoy pointing out the fallacies and ignorance of people. But when you aren't getting reimbursed for it, that's a lot of time. Um, and, and some people do this full time.
you know, this is their this is their occupation, and it is a job in a way. Oh yeah, um, it is it. Yeah, and and Paul, Paul's ego was spot on about that. I, and I and I messaged him, and and I I mean he doesn't know who I am. You know, I've been in a hangout with him before, um, and and was hoping maybe one day he can actually talk about this, but he hasn't gotten back to me. But I don't know. Paul seems like a nice guy, and maybe he might. I, I have no idea. Um, I, I, he's not, he doesn't seem one of those arrogant guys. I'm Paul's ego. Well, I, mean, I actually enjoy talking to him that in the one hangout that I had with him and G-Man. Um, he ripped uh, Scotsman my, uh, Matt you know, new to shreds. It was brutal. It was awesome. But, yeah, so in the live feed we got going on here, people are like, yeah, you can't m mention religion or swearing, controversial errors. What's left, George asked. Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm hoping you tell me. I, I don't know much about cooking. I don't know much about uh, car mechanics. Um, so, I mean, somebody suggested just completely just science. Well, yeah, I'm not good enough for that. I mean, I admit, I mean, I, I'm just a science layperson. I, I, I usually do collabs with other people for that very reason, right? Let them be the science guy. So, you know, and I just kind of like host it and, and talk about it. But I don't, I don't want to make like, like videos like AK Lectures. Ever watch him? By the way, I did reach out to him too. He, this guy makes brilliant freaking biology videos. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, it's a heavy holler. If you have not heard of AK Lectures, go check him out. I mean, this guy is fucking a walking encyclopedia of biochemistry and physics and everything else. And he has a whiteboard and he just writes everything out and he explains everything in detail, course by course, by chapter by chapter. And it is fucking good. Um, and I wish I, I would have put his link in my in my hangout here since I've been talking to him, but I might. Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen AK Lectures, watch his stuff. It is just brilliant. I've learned so much biochemistry from this guy. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I found it. And uh, yeah, I see what you mean by the white boy. Yeah, no, the guy the guy should have far more subscribers than he has. He has like 150,000 subs, but his videos only get about ten to 12,000 views. But if you guys want to learn about dna and rna and and central dogma and all this shit watches videos i just recently found him um literally like just a few weeks ago so i've tried to, to catch up and, and watch a lot of his videos uh, when i'm playing wow i'll just watch one of his videos and uh yeah brilliant guy just I, I don't know how he stuck all that information in his head i don't know what his credentials are obviously he's some kind of biology teacher or, or genetic teacher or something along those lines i don't know if he's a phd or not but he definitely yeah. Definitely is able to explain stuff, and that's the, that's the well, good Steve. Thing. I've, I've now screen trained the future of Minecraft of, uh, of YouTube. It will be inundated with Minecraft players. <laughs> that's what it's going to be. It's going to be Minecraft and My Little Pony. It's going to be bronies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somebody asked, "Can I still debate Ronnie tomorrow with the new restrictions?" Yeah, tomorrow with Ronnie. I'm they just keeping can't make it. money on it. I'm just I'm keeping it above board. I'm not bringing up any of this drama, guys. It, uh, somebody had asked. Um, you know the is, is you know Steve's going to ask Ronnie some questions he wasn't able to ask before, but you know is he is he going to talk about DNA degrading water and all that shit? No, no, I'm not. So I mean, unless he brings it up, but I mean, I want to stick with his arguments of intelligent design, and that's why I've had presentations totally destroying his arguments about intelligent design. And again, very simplistically, my second presentation, which is part of my rebuttal, isn't extremely simple. Um, but it's effective, right? I mean, I do explain physics, and I do explain um, how how a, um, uh, a turbine actually works, right, compared to, like, ADP synthase. And I, I think that once people visually see the, the overwhelming differences, they can see the flaws in, in Ronnie's arguments, and that's what I'm going for. Yeah. So... So, anyways, yeah, like I said, you know, I, I, I don't think that talking about younger creation is going to be be viable anymore. I don't think that flat Earth is going to be viable anymore. Now, it's funny is you can actually advocate flat Earth and make money. Yeah, they can keep that revenue. Yeah, but you can't, you can't, you can't argue against it because that's considered, uh, you know, harassment or violating their safe space. Yeah, figure that one out. Matter of fact. Do you guys remember I had that hangout where there was an ad, ad, ad advertisement or advertisement on my my uh, v video feed at the beginning for flat Earth maps? So you would think that you know they're cool with with videos talking about flat Earth, right? Yeah. Uh, you're slightly wrong, I think. Um, I am never you wrong. You can still Tony. go after flat Earthers, but you can't mention them. All you can oh. actually do is talk about the Earth. And the fact that it is a spheroid, and actually give um, 
how boring uh, factual uh, stuff concerning the earth um oh which my God. in fact will debunk them but you because you're not mentioning them by name and you're not actually go mentioning flat earth um effectively you you're sneaking in the side door yeah um, yeah i mean yeah we could do that but you know what that's boring because i mean like we had spurkismo on the other day and yes it was fucked up because it was it was just him trolling um, he did the same thing to Rez, which I knew, but I wanted to point it out. But, you know, we kind of enjoy engaging with Flat Earthers to point out their stupidity, um, which I can't <laughs> say anymore, but whatever. Yeah, I can't but, call them uh, stupid because that's, you know, considered to be, you know, insulting. Yeah, but, I mean, under the, the new rules, I mean, if you... I, I looked at those new rules, and the first thing that came into my head was, you can't talk about anything. Uh, yeah. Anything that actually people will be interested in. Uh, other than cooking, um, making shit, um, that's that's it. You're limited to now to uh, things which people won't find offensive. And I bet you any money there is something someone can make. And I'm not going to say dildos or anything like that. Um, but there's something someone can make. Don't worry, like, Tony. Uh, the internet uh, already went there. Well, uh, no. Um, talk about um, like, uh, I don't know, cheesecake. Um Someone yeah, the lactose intolerant will be offended offensive, by that. And that's it. <laughs> the lactose intolerant would be intolerant. You can't, bake, you can't bake bread on your cooking show because everyone who's gluten-free will have a freak out. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's pathetic. This is, this is PC actually gone totally insane. Totally, totally insane. You, you cannot stop people from having um, actually speech. Free speech. Steve, I think I know how we could fight this. What's that? Okay, basically, if you can't debunk or argue against a point, yeah, then all the anti-science stuff will have nothing to challenge it, and YouTube will simply be filled up with anti-GMO, flat Earth, young Earth creation, all of that shit. Anti-vaxxers. Anti-vaxxers, all of it. Mm -hmm. Now, where's YouTube's responsibility of just passing around false information? Well, I, I don't think they have any and responsibility. Because those, really. they're because just a media those force. Channels, those channels, yeah, they will don't be pumping that out. They don't have. They don't have a responsibility no, in that. Okay, well, let me finish yeah. though. Because those channels now have no one challenging them, and those channels never say anything bad. They get to be monetized. Yeah, no, I see your point, but it's so it's it, only uh, the critic, the person with the with the correct or truthful information, who wants to. Say, point out that no, you're wrong. Can't do that, right? But YouTube doesn't care about that. They only care about. They don't want any controversy. They don't care if the information being put out is good, bad, or indifferent. They don't want controversy. So Although YouTube was built, YouTube so was built on controversy. Bonus videos. <laughs> yeah, bonus videos allowing pseudo yeah. information to be taken as fact. Yeah, um, won't affect them. I think. So you mean that Tommy that YouTube, to the point? YouTube will have to be put on that list, like uh, fake news list <laughs> on the fake news list. Yeah, because that's all their videos will turn into that. Yeah, well, again, YouTube is just a media outlet. That they're just a, a platform. That's it. They don't care. Again, all they don't—they just don't want to see this back and forth controversial shit. Which again, we all know is funny because we remember back in the day when videos were only fifteen minutes. You would make a video, and then you make a response video, and then you make a response to response. And this is how video. This is how YouTube got popular. And in a way, I kind of like wish they would go back to that a little bit um, because you only had fifteen minutes to say what you had to say. It had to be concise, turt, succinct, to the point. Now you can have four-hour ramblings and not say anything, like we see from the Clown Car Posse. They can talk about shit all day long, and it's still, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I miss those, too, because I used to enjoy, like, someone puts a video up, here's a response video, and I, well, let me check this out, and then there'll be more response videos, and, you know, they were fun and informative, you know, to follow them like that. Um, you know, even though you won't get, mon you can't monetize things about flat earth or creationism, you can still do it, you just can't make money on it. So, on the other hand, you would need to come up with something to go along with that. That's the to that you can monetize. That that'll be the tricky thing, I think. Yeah, and it's um, well, yeah. You know what? What's next? I mean, you can't monetize now, but then you know, 
to next week or next month or next year to be, oh, we can't have this at all. And, and again, YouTube is able to do this. I, I'm not saying this is censorship in any way, shape, or form, right? Because um, they, could, they can control their media, right? I don't think it's fair that they're allowed to put advertisements on your video and not give you revenue for it, but they're allowed to do that. I mean, again, you're on their platform. But I think people need to be aware of this is some arbitrary bullshit. Oh, excuse me, uh, arbitrary uh, bullcrap. No, I can't say that either. Uh, arbitrary um, nonsense. Oh, and then again, I'm, I'm, I'm denigrating YouTube now. So, you know, I, I can't wait, win. Wait a minute, Steve. You know? There's a change I've noticed with some ads. Some are skippable and some are not. Okay. Now, I've never really looked into because I don't have a way to tell if a video is monetizable or not. Mm -hmm. The skippable ads are those on videos that are monetized, and the unskippable are they on videos that are not monetizable? No. Um, okay, there's a five second skip that you could do on mm -hmm. some, and then some of the longer ones are un unskippable. Um, that's all arbitrary by which ones you get. Okay. Yeah, but there there was one there was one toggle for um, allow skipping, and I don't remember what it was for. I did see it somewhere that, that allow, but I, I don't remember what it was because you still you still have to have a certain amount of the advertisement play. But if somebody skips it, obviously you don't get a revenue for it. Um, but yeah, and see, I was getting revenue from that too. Believe it or not, uh, yeah, you get you get revenue from Red, from uh, RedTube as well. So I mean, I I was getting. I mean, my objected analytics was like four dollars a day, and you usually get about half that, so about two dollars. And then that's during season. Now off season, it's like my projected is like two dollars or three dollars, which means I, my actual is half that. It's actually about sixty percent less. So I mean, I was making about a dollar a day, not a lot, but I mean, it. it when you survive on it, thirty bucks a month is is, is quite a bit actually. So again. Dude, I'm not being as affected as much as some of these other people that are making, you know, thousands a day. You know, if you make a thousand a day and you cut your revenue stream in half, that's only five hundred dollars. And for people that are relying on a thousand dollars a day, you know, well, not a thousand a month, sorry, a thousand dollars a month, that um, you know, it adds up, right? I mean, because that's twelve thousand dollars a year that they make to make these awesome videos because we like their content. Now, if they're saying, "Oh, look, it, I'm not going to spend three days making a video when I can go be making," you know. Fifteen twenty dollars an hour doing video stuff for some company, they probably won't have time to make these kind of videos that we all like and to, to watch. Oh, Tony's not showing up. Okay, oh. I get him in a second. Yeah. No, he was. He was talking. Yeah, but he there. You don't see. I think his icons is dark. <laughs> no, nah, he's not showing up in the external either. Yeah, I got him. There you go, Tony. Oh. What say you, man? So you're going to be having to do a lot of editing, huh? Um, self moderation. Uh, you well, no, be hilarious after, after in here because you'll just start swearing. I'm with cussing too, so I'm going to have to really work on that. Oh, that might be hard. I'll, it's, I'll a lot of things going to be difficult. Yeah, because when you get in the heated I'd conversation, start, uh, you cuss. Yeah, I wonder if I if wonder if I have to start a whole new channel actually. You know? Uh you might. Yeah, Tom Tosk, a thousand dollar day would be pretty awesome, yeah. Um uh, no, Nestle, you Nestle, Nestle, Oh sorry. Was I was just saying Nestle said what's the topic of the debate? What what debate? Tomorrow uh tomorrow's topic is um what best describes natural systems, evolution or intelligent design? You know, even if you have, you know, Patreon you know, you're still losing out you know, on, on a bit that you that you. you know. Yeah, because it supplements that, right? I mean, the, 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 between the Patreon and the revenue from the advertisement, that's that's you know what what keeps people going. Or that's you know why they do a lot of this stuff for the for the the, the cop the revenue. And you know, it's it, again, what's his name? Um, uh, Paul Ziegel makes a brilliant point. You know, if you go to have a a comedy show right and you're paying the comedian to make you laugh you they're getting reimbursed for it 
right? And again, I'm not I'm not saying my channels like that, but I'm saying for other ch other content providers out there that actually do put forth very amazing content, yes, they should get reimbursed well, Steve, for that. Why don't you just change the category instead of from entertainment to education? Uh, because that's kind of arrogant, I think. Well, no, because then that way, when you do argue against flat Earth as an example, then therefore you're educating. Yeah, no. it doesn't. I don't think they care. I don't think YouTube even cares. Oh, because I, I was going to say I've learned a lot from you guys. So, yeah. I, I well, it's it, 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 it's not as bad as news because Ronnie's is under news. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying. Go look. It's under news. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I, I think Ronnie just didn't understand which button he pushed. Yeah, give him more than one choice, and it's confusion all the way. <laughs> You know, news, it is a four-letter word. It's kind of easy to spell. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe it's under news. N. That's just amazing. It's almost a, a syllable, too. Ooh, it's almost okay, syllable. There's, there's something better. That's what YouTube should do. If you've miscategorized yourself, you should not be able to get monetization. Therefore, well, the, LG yeah, no, no, I've said that. Therefore I've said the that. LGBT queer channels there that got... Loss or had it become 18 plus, as long as they're properly categorized, then they could be monetized and have and could be under 18. Because they're actually, at least in their mind, they're they're doing a service of putting information out there that someone may want. But in someone's case like Ronnie, who put himself under news, and it's obvious that this is not news, you're miscategorizing yourself and you cannot be monetized. Well, it's worse than that. He doesn't just miscategorize categorize himself. Did you ever see his meta tags? Oh my goodness. They're ridiculous. That's what they should be looking at. He's got dude, he's got dozens and dozens and dozens of meta tags. Let me tell you guys. Um, I'll give you guys a little hint. Anything over ten meta tags, your your videos are actually losing views. Well, because, what's a meta tag? Yeah. I'm sorry. A meta tag is allow allows you to actually put a specific hashtag or ha a specific uh, word into the video that's not in the comment section or the title. When you upload a video, there's keywords. Those are metadata. Yeah, it, it helps when you're searching for things. Like like if you put in uh, swimming lions, you know, and if they have this in their meta tag, it'll take you to videos about swimming lions or where that tag is. Yeah. Or, yeah. About, or because they have the meta tag of lions and swimming, Yeah, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll bring that video up. That's why sometimes when you do a search, you get some stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. You don't know why because of meta tags. And how many do they have? Because there's a list, right? Well, the, uh, again, you're only supposed to have about ten. Ronnie has like several, several dozen, and they're way out there, like UFO, alien abduction. Um, yeah. Doesn't YouTube have a thing where they say you can only meta tag appropriately? Yes. In which case, then all Ronnie's videos should be attacked by YouTube because they're meta tagging things that are well, not of course. That but appropriate for that video. Yeah, of course. But I, again, I don't advocate for that. I don't give a shit what he does. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I'm just. But that's it, what I was saying about weird. appropriately categorized. Yeah. He doesn't yeah, do no, news, so he shouldn't yeah. be allowed to be monetized. Uh, you have a channel who does something on health. It may deal with things that might have to be 18 plus under this system, but it's dealing with health and yeah. medical and that kind of information. So yeah, then it's properly categorized and you allow it. But by the way, I do think there's some asymmetry here because yeah. I, when I understand, if you have like atheist in your meta tag, it, it'll get demonetized. But if you have Christian, it only sometimes does. So I haven't done an experiment on this. Yeah. So, but this is this is what I've been hearing um, from various people. Everybody that's ever done any videos on atheism, they are all in the same boat right now. They're just like, yeah, no, they don't want any of that. So. Which again, I'm not. My channel's not about atheism. But again, I, I don't promote the fact that you could talk about theology but not talk about atheism. That makes no sense. That is that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, we're heading for another dark age, a dark age with some nightlights. Well, I, I said this day was coming, guys. I've said that you know we are getting into a political uh, environment where they don't want. These types of discussions they want their safe space I've, I've been saying it for the longest time social justice warriors have been been advocating this forever and the, there is a backlash uh, as you guys pointed out you know you can't even have a, a, a video on on transgender anymore 
whether you're, you know you're 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 not even you're not even bashing them, right? You're just explaining to people about transgender. Nope, nope, it's controversial. Can't have it. All right, so there's going to be a new platform popping up that's going to take care of these issues. Okay, Tony, oh, can yes, I explain sir. something? Yes, sir. Do you remember when Trump was elected and then the women had their big women's march? Oh yes. And they all wore those little pink hats, like the little knitted two yes. caps that have the two peaks on them. Yep. Those are called pussy hats. Yes, they are. Not because they look like cat ears, okay? Uh-huh. Um, apparently, there's an article that came out, and I don't care if this turns into is actually fake news. I find it hilarious that those pussy hats are apparently oppressing transgenders because it equates having a, v- a womanhood to having a vagina. Oh. Yeah, they can make anything controversial. That is how this shit is going. So, yeah. So that yeah. woman that dressed as oh. a pussy. Um, really I remember. Did a friend. <laughs> wow. That was good. Yeah, that was, wow, that's, so that means that our, our the, the youth are growing up to be so thin sensitive. Skin. Yep, thin skin little pussies. President, yeah, our presidents and our leaders are going to be. Maybe well, we I see it know. here, Tony. Don't we see it in our own community? We see people that have such thin skins. Oh my God, he insulted me! Oh my God, he's so rude to me. And this That's is why racist. That's racist. This, well, That's this is racist. why I, I kind of like went off on John the other day, uh, John McDropout, because we were in a hangout, uh, MPs hangout, and he was he was really trying to go off of me the way I was treating um, hilarious Zulu, and he was going off of me and Zo- and, and Dragon. And we're like, dude, fuck off. We're like, you know, don't don't impart your little social justice warrior, whatever the hell you want to, you know, you treat people how you treat people. Don't don't tell us because we deal with these people all the fucking time and they're not worth our respect. And yes, I will go off on them, you know. I'm, Steve, so. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for uh, hilarious there to go full Afrocentric I, and, <laughs> and tell us that uh, the Olmex came from Africa. He's not even black. Yeah. Um, not, where is he from? No, I don't think so. Is he? He's from the. He's from the UK. Yeah. yeah well, I, I don't know. We can't talk about race. So you're all. you all. You're all. You're, you're all color neutral. Just let yeah, you guys know. Yeah. You're right. He was yeah, we're all beige. We're all beige. Somewhere in Africa, and I swear that's a Liverpoolian accent. No, I think you're confusing that with Stizer. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah, Stizer. No, and somebody's saying, you know, like, hey, make video. People make up the difference. That I, I, no, oh, it's not. It's not about that. I, 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 I want to in anymore. I, you know, I, I want to say, you know, I don't want people to 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 donate to my Patreon to make up for the advertisement thing. Don't don't do that. That's that's silly. Um, I'm not asking for that uh, at all. I, just, I want people to Patreon because they just like the stuff. That's the only reason. Yeah. Um, my my whole thing is is seriously about the the ramifications towards other channel and the fact that it's just. This type of environment. That's what I'm upset about. The 30 bucks a month, whatever. But the fact that, that YouTube has gone to this direction, um, I think they're slicing their own throats, but at the same time, they're slapping the the, crea- the uh, content creators in the face. Literally slapping them in the face. Because this is what YouTube was built upon. Yeah. Correction, Steve. They're not slapping the uh, content creators in the face. They're actually slapping the truth people in the face that's true too Mm -hmm. as in they're allowing the pseudoscience and everything to go ahead because they're being inoffensive um but the the ones are actually coming up with the legit facts they're they're killing them that's what they're doing yep i totally agree you cannot oppose them because as soon as you oppose them they go oh he's harassing me and then that gets shut down well, I was watching the other day, and uh, this is what you should switch to. Uh, there was this guy, and he had a balloon, and he was he put like a thousand Zorbies in it to see how many a balloon can hold. Maybe that's what you can do. Science like that, Zorby holding. <laughs> Zorby what, holding. What's a Zorby? Those those little round little pellets that when you put water on them they expand. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, my daughter's here. Yeah, like I said, I was gonna make cat videos, but the problem is, is I don't have any cats, so it'd be very boring. I got one. Can have pretend you. there's a cat here. See what it's doing? It's it's Steve, playing. You know, I, I also that. just realized something. All future hangouts, you can't let Stizer in. Oh, they would be instantly. <laughs> yeah, they'd be blocked. I mean, you, you, you all all the outside feed would be seen, which is you know like censored. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I mean, I'm looking. I'm, I'm really looking forward to some of these uh, bigger names speaking out and seeing what they have to say about this. Because yeah. again, this has really been going on for about two weeks, and I, and I don't think a lot of them actually have noticed the change yeah. because they don't check their AdSense all the time. But uh, anybody who's checked their AdSense last two weeks, oh yeah, you can see it. Here's um, I got a good question then. I, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Send Aaron Raw a message. Ask him to check his his series of videos that he does. Oh yeah, I'll have Drag do that. I'll, okay, I'll when Drag gets because work. if those videos are monetized from the start, they would they may have been demonetized, or he'll have trouble monetizing them now. Yeah, because I mean, it, the topic he deals with. Yeah, even if they're not demonetized, like none of my videos besides like one stay demonetized because I don't. It's about Sharia yeah. law, and I don't. I don't want him to. I I wasn't awake for it. It was eight hours overnight, and I don't know what's in it, and I don't want to even take the chance. It, you know, I'm not making any yeah. thing off that anyways. People don't go back and watch that video, right? So it's it's yeah. it's already done. But uh, you know, even if you're not having videos that are demonetized, I think the whole channel is because again, I used to get um, oh, I don't know about 50 impressions to 100 impressions a day. Um, mm -hmm. Now I'm getting zero. Literally, as of two weeks ago, my metrics literally went to zero almost across the board. You know, my lowest day would have been, I don't know, 16 or something. My highest would have been 100 plus. And yet, the last week, I haven't hit higher than three. So I know something's wrong with the advertising. And, and I and I pointed yeah. it out, and then people were like, yeah, you know what? People have been saying this. Uh, these are the reasons. I'm like, ah, at least there's explanations for this now. Can I just skip back to Aaron Ra? Just yeah, for a of second. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron, when he does his um, videos, um, just sticks with the facts. Of what is um, what is uh -huh. um, now, he doesn't mention young Earth creationists, as far as I'm aware. Well, he doesn't um, in some of his videos. Foundation fosters the cre creationism, one of the most best video series of all time. He yeah, has that's a book what out I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking yeah. about the paleontology ones. And stuff. I just watched one of those yesterday. I try to watch one of his uh, videos a day. Yeah, mm -hmm. RSC says I don't see any commercials on your vids. I don't think so. Anybody, I I, I don't know. Um, I mean, if if they if they stick to the facts, I can't see that they can do anything about it. Um, does, has it? Wait, can I ask real quick? Has anybody seen an advertisement on my video in the last couple of weeks? No, I have had blocker. I don't bother. Yeah, I have a blocker too. I don't. Well, even with ad blocker, some of them still come up. You still no, have that five second one. No, they don't. Trust me, they don't. <laughs> really? Oh. Well, usually when I'm doing when I'm I, if I watch my own videos, you know you have to skip your own videos. Um, uh, you can't watch your own videos. I mean, you can't watch your own uh, advertisement, right? So usually I'll have to skip through it. But I I don't think recently I've seen any of those either. I don't think I've had to do that. But I haven't really been paying attention on that. So my ad blocker just wipes them all out. I By the way, you can you can actually put an exemption in your ad blocker for certain channels. You know, uh, just no. saying. Uh, yeah, I could do, but... Uh, okay, Steve, work. I just checked two videos of yours, and I don't see an ad at the beginning. Yeah, I don't think any of this stuff has ads. That's why I'm getting, not getting any clicks. Yeah. Or just even the the, uh, the, the you know the five-second one. Um, sometimes people watch the whole thing for like 20 seconds, right? But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm getting any. That's why. Oh, I think they're going to get to the point where they're going to have the actual advertisers. I don't know if they already do that pick which categories they want or do they already do that i have no clue yeah but yeah. then again you just miscategorize yourself how yeah. also he points out about the restricted content but i don't have the restricted content thing checked unless i've got to go unless they've changed it where i've got to go actually in and change that again uh, where where's the restricted content thing i don't know i haven't, haven't done a video in ages so. um Anybody know in the in the uh, content thing where it's restricted content? In the advanced settings. Yeah, but it's under Creative Studio. But under what? Advanced. Yeah, well, that's where I would put it if if I was the programmer of this website. But then I'm not the programmer of this website. Uh, hey, Hal, sorry, where is that uh, setting for the 18 and up? See, here it says, advertisements. Allow advertisements to be displayed uh, on my videos. I have that checked. Disabled interest-based ads. I don't have that checked. Um, I mean, maybe I should check it. 
No, I don't want to check that because it says this may significantly reduce your channel's revenue. Um, allow my channel to appear with other channels' recommendations. Check. Display the number of people subscribed to my channel. Checked. Uh, I am getting rid of all the keywords, though. <laughs> I'm changing my keywords. Um, cats. Um, dogs. Um, what's some good? What's some good user-friendly keywords? Although I might just have to make a whole new channel. So, what, what's some good keywords? Space. Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I think everything's set properly. I, 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 again, I don't remember where that age restriction checkmark is. Let me see. Does anybody know what is that? Um, no, I think restricted I think content is all the way down bottom of every page. It's a pay. I don't think there's a global age restriction. I think it's um, on the when you're uploading a video. There's a button there that actually it's allows a you to your op, uh, op out. It's on, oh, it's on each video? Yeah, I think so. And I think you I, do have a default that you can actually set it to. Um, yeah, I thought so too. But okay, let me but, go to one of my videos that's here. in the same place. I think you have an option to actually make it the default setting. Um, let me see. Under advanced settings, make this page publicly video visible. Um syndication everywhere yeah so it, yeah age restriction enable age restriction it's unchecked so yeah my, my thing is definitely unchecked yeah i should go full flat earther that you know what that you know you know yeah jism makes like 550 bucks a month to put out fucking bullshit videos it's like ridiculous and i do want to make but i want to i want to go back to make actual videos again right but i've been so wrapped up in this freaking debate and also you know I, i've been leveling a new tune because a new patch came out for a while i'm not gonna lie um i like my, like my game but um you know I, I i i was in the middle of making this video from orphan red and i got 90 percent done i just got to find something that can rap really well no g man not you um and then i could probably complete that video and then next month or this month i should say it's a new month so you know, I want I want to actually make uh, actual videos with drag. We're going to make some collab videos, so we got a lot of stuff in the works. Um, you see, well, how's says, is, there, says there, it's on, there is it, a way you can get around all this stuff. Right? Okay, you're not allowed to um, offend anyone else. Okay, so how about offending yourself? Become. A I find that rather guy. offensive, Tony. Right, <laughs> right. So what you do is you. You become a flat earther, you go through all the flat earth stuff in your video, and then right at the end, you debunk yourself. There you go. Yeah. You hey, um, how so? How so? Are you, are you saying my videos are hidden? Is how so you actually saying that my videos are hidden? Hidden? I don't think so, because I can, I can actually just like do a search and my videos come up. So they're not hidden. Yeah, all my, all my videos are still there, and none of them are hidden. So, what is Halso also seeing, saying here? You, YouTube can hide your videos from users. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But, I mean, if you do a search, you, all my videos come up. Uh, you just type in Steam or Create. Type in something like Steam or Trade Creationism or something. Um, and I, yeah, a whole bunch of my videos come up. And all the videos of people, like, hating on me. So... So I don't know. I, I don't know how this is going to work out. I really don't. Um, but in the meantime, you know, coming up, you know, we just got to keep it clean. Um, you know, no vulgarity, no insulting the clown car policy. Um, and the only thing I really got to say to, to kind of like, I, I don't want to keep this going too long. But the only thing I got to say is, you know what? April Fool's and fuck you, YouTube.